All right, so this is my 2012 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, Limited. It has the uh, Grand Cherokee you see there. Um, it has the uh, Xenon headlights. I need to fix this, but anyway, it has the Xenon headlights, and I've been watching these videos, and it all talks about taking all this stuff off and all this and all this crap you got to do in here. And uh, they say that you can't, or it's too inconvenient to be able to get through the access hole that Jeep has given you. Now, I'm not defending any manufacturer's engineering, but so there's this access hole in the um, in the wheel well. I got my wheel turned all the way to the right. I'm on the driver's side, and what they say is you can't get your hand up in here to get things done. This hand that you see right here, that is a, I'm six foot two, 235 pounds, and I wear a size 13 ring. My hands are not small. You can see, it takes up pretty much that whole thing, you know. But I've just, I've been watching all these videos, and I thought, well, I'm going to try getting to that bulb that's behind, behind the rubber boot there. You see that, try not to block my flashlight here. But uh, you see that rubber boot right there. I'm trying to get to that the bulb there. Well, I just pretty much did with my giant mittens here. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So here you go. First thing you got to do is got to remove that. Again, forgive the bad video, but I'm just doing this real quick for helpful purposes. You got to remove that little boot. The light bulb's under there. So let's reach up there. And that boot comes off real easy. You got to squeeze it with your hand. And you kind of work with it and you, it just comes all the way now see there it is I've kind of loosened it and now it'll come right out of that hole now this covers and protects the back of the light now if you look up in there you'll see that little silver thing let me let me try to let me see if I can get up in there you can see the light. It's the square thing with the white sticker on the back with the gold on it. It's a Xenon DS1 light. Okay, that Xenon DS1 light. You can see the little silver clamps around it. Let's get a better light here. Um, you can see the little silver clamps around it. That's what holds it in. And right there on the left side of your screen, you can see a little black tab. That tab simply needs to be pulled down which is counterclockwise, and it will unlock all those little silver clamps. Let me see if I can do this. I don't think I can do this while you've got light where you can see it, but I'm gonna reach up in here and see if I can show you the change in position. Okay, so I've just reached up there and pulled it down so you can see that little black um, clip is now down instead of up, that black clip. They're on the left side of the bulb. Okay, now in those now I'll be able to reach up in and just pull that bulb straight out. So let me do that. Reach up in. Forgive the terrible video, but I don't do this for clicks. I do this for help. So it literally just sort of fell out of that. So let me, you can see it's not in there anymore. It's hanging by the wire inside. Now I got to reach up in there and just kind of feel around. And pull that wire down. So there it is. Look, see, there's your bulb. Super simple. Now I've got to remove it. I'm gonna pause the video while I reach up in there and pull it off of the clamp that's holding it. Okay, I haven't actually removed it, but I wanted you to see, that, I don't know if I can, let me see if I can get some light in the right place. Let me see here, okay. Sort of, light's terrible still. Mm. Hang on. So you can see that's how it's attached. That you can see the harness there, and you've got that little clamp we've got to get off. So let me get that off real quick, and then we'll put the new bulb on there and slide the new bulb in. But you want to make sure you don't touch this bulb. Do not touch that bulb, but not the new one. Um, so hang on. All right, quite literally, to get this off, you just pull. You can see. Okay, I don't know if I can. There aren't really clamps. It's just a nice tight fit. You can see those sort of spring-loaded things in there. 
you can just pull it and there's a you can see that little notch that little notch will keep you from misaligning the plug okay so now let me get my new bulb let's see here's my new bulb you see that hid unfortunately these things are like a hundred bucks at the auto parts store it's ridiculous but uh here we go so let's get this my feet aren't small either <laughs> Okay, here we go. Here's the bulb. We're gonna do our best to video with one hand while we unload everything out here. Try not to touch it. Oops, don't touch the bulb, can you? Okay, here we go. I've successfully not touched the bulb. So, the glass part. You can touch the metal part. Alright, so now I've just got to clip those two things together which I will do here off camera because I can't I need two hands for that real quick before I clip that in um, I want to show you the difference between a burned out bulb and one that's not like these two bulbs look very similar don't they which ones burn out this is the burnout bulb you can see it because it's dark in that bubble right there in the middle this is the good bulb I'm not even put my finger near that bubble because I don't want to accidentally touch it but you can see how clear the bubble in the middle is so dark clear bad good okay so let's put that bad one away now let's get the good one now i'm going to plug it. okay so far that was the hardest part and it wasn't hard at all one hand manipulating the clip some fingertips holding this metal part here not touching the bulb but uh, and boom you can see it's clipped on took two seconds now what i have to do is slip it back into those sorry it's out of focus up there not quite sure how to fix that but slip it back into those prongs that are up there and so all i'll do is i'll manipulate it so that the tip of that bulb slips in the middle and it should slip right in okay let me see if i can video that while i do it let's get some light up in there yeah i don't know if that light's good hmm I don't know. You're probably not going to be able to see this. Sorry. I've got to carefully. Yeah, this is all going to be blind. You're not going to be able to see it. You just, you just got to kind of feel around. Like I'm not using the tips of my finger. I'm just sort of using spatial awareness, I guess. And so I admit. I have, I can kind of feel I should be close to the, oh, I'm below the prongs right now. So I've got to come up a little bit as I, there we go. See, right now, I, I know you can't see, but right now I can feel the prongs with my tips of my fingers. I'm not touching the bulb. I'm just touching the back part, but I can feel it. And so I can feel that the bulb is in the middle of the prongs and then I just I've just sort of pressed it forward gently I'm doing all, all this pretty gently and now I can feel that the bulb is set in there's no wobbliness to it so let's take a look let's see what we got here so now you can see that bulb is set square within the prongs I have not moved the little tab to the left up. I haven't moved it up yet to lock it in, but I'm going to do that right now. I wish I had a light inside or a camera inside where you could see, but I'm going to show you the difference. Okay. Now you can see that little tab is moved up. Now focus. Focus. Come on. There it is. The tab's moved up now. Okay. So now it's locked in. Now we should be good to go. So now let's uh, let's go. Let me go reach up there, double check. Oh, before we double check, we put this back in. And this is a little annoying to put in. Again, you just squeeze it. It's super soft. It goes up there. You just gotta kind of like everything else, feel around so it feels like it slips in the right spot over the back pretty tight you got to kind of use your fingertips 
not going to get your whole hand up in there. Not if it's the size of mine. A little lady might be able to, but let's see. There we go. Covers on. All right, now let's see what kind of job we did. Did we fix it? Oh. By the way, this is the low beam headlight. I'm going to close my hood so we can see the lights. Okay. And looky there. We have we have our lights are on. Brand new xenon light. You can see that fresh light on the left, the old light on the right. Now let's uh, let's go take a look at it. There we go, low beam's working. Now I'm gonna try to fix all this fog here real quick. Let's see with some rubbing compound, but we'll see how that goes. Anyway, there you go, headlights. You don't have to take all that crap off.